going to be a flop rule in Major League Baseball? Welcome to Baseball News Club. This is episode two. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Houston Astros sign stealing scandal. It's going to be in two parts. One today, one next week. Um, unless you've been living underneath a rock or time travel from the past and just arrived today, if that's the case, please subscribe. Um, essentially what Houston Astros did is they had such an unfair advantage on every single team in Major League Baseball, they were essentially stealing signs. They knew exactly what pitches were coming. Baseball prides itself on having an even playing field. Everything's fair. Any player in the lineup could be the GOAT or the hero. But again, Houston, by doing this, created a whole different playing field. Major League Baseball found in the 2017 and 2018 season that Houston Astros were essentially using a camera in center field. They were relaying it back into the dugout, usually in the hallway down the stairs into the dugout somewhere. And then the person down there was relaying it to the batter. They were either doing it by banging sounds, whistling, or other means. In January of 2020, Major League Baseball found that they were illegally using a sophisticated system and were stealing signs during the 2017 and 18 season. They didn't find anything in 2019 season. And the weird thing is, is they did not punish any players because of the cooperation with the players with Major League Baseball investigation, the players will let off. Do me a favor, comment in the comment section, do you think the punishment fit the crime? Do you think players should have been punished? So please comment in the comment. Now, one thing I gotta say is you gotta take the scandal with a grain of salt. First off, I've heard comparisons of the steroid scandals compared to this. Not even close, it's night and day. Steroid scandal involved numerous players, numerous teams, numerous people outside. It was rampant through the sport. Thus far, this scandal seems to be a handful of players and, and coaches. Houston's GM was suspended and let go. Houston's manager, A.J. Hinch, suspended and let go. Now, Alex Cora, who was on the team in 2017, who was then Boston's coach, he was let go. Now, Carlos Beltran, who was also on the 17 team, he was the only player from that 17 team that was named in the investigation. He was let go. Listen, sign stealing is an art form, but what Houston did is they, they crossed the line. Um, it's Look at it like poker. When you play poker, the goal of poker is to analyze the other players, see if they're bluffing, etc. That's that's gamemanship. That's allowed. What Houston did is if they had a camera behind the other poker player and can see his cards and then I was relaying to the other player, it totally gives you an unfair advantage. Now, there's a lot of things in Major League Baseball that are, you know, what's cross the line, what's not. The poker analogy should help you out. Okay, now we're going to move on to teams. Uh, in the winter, there was a lot of changes, rule changes. One of them was the three batter minimum or uh, end of the inning. So in other words, you have to face a minimum of three batters as a pitcher coming into a game. Or if it, there's two outs in the inning and you have one out and you end the inning, you don't have to come back to the subsequent inning. Now, one of the exceptions is injuries. And this is what I'm saying about the flop rule. I'm curious how this is going to pan out because pitchers going to come in now and all they have to do is say they're sore or something like that and they get pulled from the game. So I'm not sure how Major League is going to deal with flopping. Uh, there was also roster limits increased from 25 to 26 in regular season, uh, 28 in September. Um, we had the two-way player designation, injured list and option periods, and the challenge time. Uh, managers now only get 20 seconds versus 30 seconds to challenge a play. Okay, moving on to the next subject, hitters. Um, we're specifically going to be looking at home run hitters, the best home run hitters of 2019. 2019, there was 6,776 home runs hit. Ridiculous when you look at this list. You know, some players really jumped up. Makes you wonder. Um, Pete Alonso, a rookie, hit 53 home runs. That's remarkable. Now, one thing about home run hitters, a lot of them all have high strikeouts. If you look at the top 40 with 145 strikeouts or more, only one player, one player hit 300 or more. And that player's name is Yon Moncada for the Chicago White Sox. Hit 315 with 154 strikeouts. So you don't get that many average hitters, but you're going to get some pop. Okay, we're moving on to the next subject, pitching. In the past 10 or 12 years, each year, Major League strikeout records are broke. In fact, in 2019, over 22 pitchers recorded over 200 strikeouts. 
That hasn't happened since 1900. That's 120 years. That's ridiculous. Pitching has changed so much since the 80s. Even pre-80s, before that, it was expected to go and go the distance and have a complete game. Closers were not a, like a special position back then, but this guy here, look him up, Bruce Suter, made it a specialty. He be, was one of the premier closers in the 80s, started a whole new genre. Now when you jump forward to 2020, you look at how pitchers have been the last 5 or 15 years, it's become a major specialty. You've got your long relief, your short relief, your closers. Uh, usually starters go five or six. So having a higher A as a starter is actually not a big deal anymore. Lastly, we're going to go over fantasy. Now, the frustrating thing for me with fantasy is each week right now, I'd be going over the fantasy players and how well they're doing and tracking. But since we have the coronavirus, um, I might have to change this subject into something else in the subsequent weeks. Um, but fantasy, imagine if fantasy baseball was around and we had computers back in the 20s with Babe Ruth and then you had you know, all the great players that followed him after that. Imagine having, I mean, look at these numbers right here. Imagine these guys being your fantasy players. Crazy. All right, this is the end. I want to thank everybody. If you could please make comments below on what we posted today or just make comments about your favorite team, uh, please subscribe, tell some friends, we're on Instagram, like the video, and um, hit the notica notification buttons, and we really appreciate it, and we'll see you real soon.